What's up guys, welcome to a new video. You probably clicked on this video because Final Cut is somehow cluttering your libraries or even your Mac. I had this happen to me. I wish I figured this out right at the beginning of me using Final Cut, but I didn't. Just after a few weeks or a month is when I realized that my hard drive space is running out. So let's jump right into Final Cut. And I'm gonna show you which very stupid default setting causes this problem. So let's jump right into Final Cut. So right here in Final Cut, you have to go on the upper left side and click on this downwards arrow and my Mac crashed again. Gotta get a new one. This thing is driving me crazy. I can't edit a video without it crashing. Anyways, in Final Cut, you have to go to the upper left side and click on this downwards arrow, which says import media from a device, camera or archive. It's just the import settings. Click on the import settings and once you're in here, go to the files and now you can already see it. That's the problem. It says copy to library, but we don't want Oh, we're here again. You know what? I'm just gonna shut you down. Fuck you. Yeah, it sometimes even crashes for shutting down. I'm, I'm real pro on Final Cut and, and Mac stuff. Just trust me, I'm, I'm the man. I know how to use that stuff. Anyways, of course, we don't want Final Cut to copy our original media because then we have duplicates of everything and we don't need that. If you have a folder structure yourself, which you should have, if you want to know my folder structure, feel free to click up here. In this video, I go over my detailed folder structure, which I even have a download link for. And once you have a folder structure yourself, mine or your own, you don't need Final Cut to copy your original media. This is just if you're not organized, if you have all of your random clips just somewhere on your desktop, then it makes sense that Final Cut copies every single original media clip into the library. But if you have everything organized yourself, you don't need Final Cut to copy that. So we're just gonna change it from copy to library to leave files in place because we want Final Cut to leave our files in the place where we purposefully put them. Makes sense, I guess. So if you did that wrong in the beginning and want to know how to delete all of these files, just go into your library, click on show package contents and then navigate to original media, which is where Final Cut copied all of your original media. So now you have it twice, once on the location where you first had it, maybe your desktop, maybe your own folder structure, and one time in the library, which probably is why your library is like a million terabytes. Again, I don't know why this would be a default setting, doesn't make sense to me, but now you know how to change that. That's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here by clicking right here. And you can find more Final Cut Pro videos in the playlist right here and another video right here. Am I in focus or are my eyes just lost at this point because I'm like awake for like three days because I had shoots all across Germany? I spent more time in my car than anywhere this week. Like I drove for almost 28 hours this week and over 2,400 kilometers, which is like a billion miles. And my eyes are just red, itching and burning. And I really gotta go to bed because this looks like I'm totally blurred, but I think it's just my eyes. Anyways, good night guys. See you in the next video, probably. This is a JBL box.